In today's video, we are going, I'm going to be showing you how to calibrate the Rosamont 1151 DP pressure transmitter. So the first step to this is removing this screw and that screw to reveal the zero in range screws so we can calibrate this sensor. So after we have removed this cover, it reveals this zeroing screw and this range screw, which we're gonna to use to calibrate the milliamp range according to our PSI range that comes into the sensor. So to do this, we need to first connect this transmitter to a 24 volt DC power supply. And it's a very simple wiring. We just put the positive end on the positive side and the negative end on a negative side on these signal terminals. So these test terminals are used when um, this thing is already set up and wired up and you don't wanna break the circuit to measure the amperage, which I'm about to do. Um, so what we wanna do is we take the negative side of our circuit and we break it and instead of the load being our analog card, we make the load be our voltmeter so we can test this so we don't fry our analog card. So once we have that hooked up, we can plug in power and see what amp reading we get with zero PSI applied. So as we see this number come up on our amp meter, we get, we're getting about 4.75 milliamps, it looks like. So we want, since there's no PSI applied, that would be our zero point, and we'd like that to be four milliamps because our range is four to 20 milliamps. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a flat head on this um, zeroing screw, and we're going to turn it down until we reach that four milliamp mark that we're looking for. So as we start to turn it, you can see the milliamps on our meter go down and this part gets very finicky. You have to be, start turning the screw very slowly, but eventually we can get it down to exactly four milliamps. Just like that. So the next step would be to apply our max PSI range into the high side of our pressure transmitter to, and then set that PSI to 20 milliamps to complete our range. So after we apply our max PSI pressure we're gonna have to try to get this number down to 20 milliamps. As you can see, we're a little off with 21 milliamps. We're gonna try to get it down to 20, adjusting this range screw now. And we'll do that by turning it counterclockwise until we reach that magic 20 number. All right. So once we do that and get it as close as we can to 20, it's okay to be 0 0.03 off, depending on what you're using, but if we can get it down to exactly 20, just like that, oh. <clears throat> we now take away the pressure to see what our zero comes out to. It should be four milliamps, but if it's not, like it's happening right now, we then repeat the process and kind of you move, turn the zero screw back to four milliamps. 
and then keep repeating the process until you get it completely dialed in where when you have no pressure you have four milliamps and when you have your max pressure you have 20 milliamps it's a very tedious process and sometimes it takes a couple tries there we go like I said we'll apply the pressure once again and see what we come out to see we're still over yet so we'll have to keep bringing this range screw down Once again, remove your air. And we're still off. So we just keep repeating this process until we dial in that four to 20 milliamp range. All right, so after about off camera, I did this about 10, 12 times, it's a very finicky process of trying to get your zero to be exactly four and your range, your high end, to be exactly 20. But so I'm reading just about, as you can see, it's flip-flopping between four and 3.99. We adjust our pressure or put in our max PSI that we want this transmitter to read. And if we're lucky, It's looking like we might come up. Oh. So we're right there. So I might even give it a little bump to 20. Just a little. Just like so. We're gonna call that good at 9, 19.98, but right there. And we remove pressure. And we should hopefully get around or very close to four milliamps, just like that. So that is how you configure your milliamp range on a Rosamont a Rosamont 1151 DP pressure transmitter. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.